Welcome to the GXTP700 training video on positioning for acquiring optimum TMJ images. It's important to familiarize yourself with the various parts of the system. Included are the rotating unit, column controls, touch screen, easy position items such as chin support and bite guide, head supports, hand grips, and positioning lasers. Finally, the exposure trigger, which either may be a handheld device or wall unit. The column control has buttons for patient in, laser alignment lights, carriage up and down, anterior posterior movement, chin rest up and down, and finally a reset button. The touchscreen selections include body size, projection types, kilovolt and milliamp control, and a no dose simulation. Displayed are system status, patient and dose information, as well as graphic and clinical examples of the selected projection. Taking TMJ Images Set up the acquisition from within your imaging software. Prepare the system. Press the patient positioning button to rotate the unit to the patient in position. Remove the chin rest from the support holder, then place the TMJ nose support into the support holder. Use the short nose support for large and medium adults and the long version for small adults and children. Place a barrier on the nose support. Open the head support by turning the knob, then pull the head support assembly fully forward. Place the appropriate barriers on all head supports. Ensure that the pan tab is selected, then select patient size. Select the appropriate TMJ projection. Exposure settings are predetermined by selecting patient size and projection. However, kilovolts and milliamps can be adjusted at this time. Prepare the patient. Ask the patient to remove any glasses, false teeth, jewelry, hair clips, and pins. Place a protective lead apron over the patient's shoulders. Press the up-down buttons to adjust the height of the chin rest so that it is slightly higher than the patient's chin. For open TMJ, ask the patient to open their mouth as he or she approaches the unit. For closed TMJ, the patient should approach the unit with back teeth clenched. Help the patient approach the unit. Ask the patient to grab hold of the handles and press their top lip against the top of the nose support. Press the laser button to initiate the laser alignment lights. For mid-sagittal placement, verify that the patient's head is not tilted or turned to one side. For TMJ horizontal placement, use the up-down buttons to bring the patient's Frankfurt plane parallel to the laser. For open TMJ lateral vertical placement, adjust the position of the TMJ laser until it aligns 10 millimeters anterior of condyle. For closed TMJ lateral vertical placement, adjust the position of the TMJ laser until it aligns in the middle of condyle. Carefully push the head support towards the patient. Rotate the head support knob clockwise to close the temple supports so that they gently but firmly grip the patient's head. Check that the patient has not moved and is still in the correct position. For TMJ open, ask the patient to open their mouth to the fullest extent possible and remain still for the duration of the exposure. For TMJ closed, ask the patient to place their teeth together, press their tongue against the roof of their mouth, swallow, and remain still for the duration of the exposure. Looking at a fixed point in the mirror will help them remain still for the duration of the exposure. Move at least seven feet away from the unit and protect yourself from radiation. Make sure that you can see and hear the patient during the exposure. Press and hold down the exposure button for the duration of the exposure. The rotating unit will move around the patient's head and then stop. When the rotating stops, the exposure has been taken. After the exposure, release the head support and assist the patient in getting out of the unit. Follow the instructions in the manual for decontamination of system parts. For more information on proper positioning and usage of the GXDP700, please consult the user manual. Thank you for watching and please visit www.gendex.com for more Gendex instructional videos.